Right, welcome back to the 8-Bit Challenge episode 107 and this time around I've been given Scuba Dive on the ZX Spectrum and I've played it a few uh, times back in the day and I can say I'm not getting very far of it now to the point it's doing my bleeping head in. Now the stip is I've got to go all the way to the bottom of the ocean and try and locate a chest. I've done that a couple of times on his layout. But every time I've loaded it since the layout, no matter what version I've used, I keep getting a layout that it isn't even mapped out on the tip shop site, whereas his is. So it's just, um, I have no idea where I'm going. It's driving me nuts. But um, let's just get on with it. We need to set the controls, which uh, I think if I can, um, what's it called? Redefine them, can't I? Something like that anyway. All right. Actually, I forgot I already did controls. All right, let's get on with it. K. Okay. Whoops, here we go. Down, 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 down. All the way down. And then take my finger off the fire button. There you go. So, yeah. Um, I question that step. I think it's a hard enough game collecting points from these oysters as it, oysters as it is, let alone going all the way down and trying to get a chest. You, you've got to be careful here. If you so much as crash once down there, you've got to go all the way back to the boat and start again. And it's been doing my effing head in. I'm fed up with it. So this is the last time I'm ever going to play it. Because I don't enjoy it. And um, what was the score so far? It's level. Yes, it's 23 each at the moment. And I can safely say he's going to go back to one in front with this. Because I have, um, I've just given up with it. I just don't seem to get a map I can follow on the, on the, the tip shop site. And we'll probably find that out again in a minute. Once we get to the lower caves, you'll see what I'm on about. You can always go back and pause this film. This is a harder one to get by because the inertia. You have to start swimming now. Go, go, go. Now, I guarantee you, look at that bit of the cave to begin with. You will not see that on, on the maps. It don't correspond to any of the four levels. Well, that, uh, that's shown on the tip shop site map site so so i'm just going down i have no idea where the oxygen is or the treasure chests i know the treasure chests are bound to be right at the bottom somewhere but oh damn it oh whenever i do get down one of those little side alleys look at this lot already i get absolutely inundated with enemies look at all this and so many times i've hit the edge of the screen and i've hit a squid or a shark that i could not I did not see you coming. Oh, look at that. So, oh, yeah, okay. See, this is not mapped out on was on the tip shop site. And I've tried, uh, this is the tap version. I've tried the Z80 file version and the snap version. And, uh, yeah. And I'm so fed up with getting out of the boat. And, look, here's the oxygen. Right, we got some oxygen. Here we go. And I hate this. So, no, near the bottom of the ocean now. And you've got to position yourself so carefully. A little bit forward, that's it. A little bit down. Whoa, 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 whoa. A little bit down. Go on, that's it. No. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to... Yeah, go that way a bit. No. That's it. No. Oh. oh, for fuck's sake. This is what I'm talking I hate it. I hate this game. And I've got to go all the way back again. It does my head in. Come on. And I'll tell you what, I've got to say, um, he did well to get the treasure chest, but I have to say, the amount of times that he luckily got out of the boat and swam the right direction is unbelievable. I've not had that luck. Like now, um, what should happen is the octopus should come up in a couple of screens time, and it's probably way across the other. Oh, actually, this time it worked out for me. Normally, I go straight into the bloody war. Right, okay, let's try it again. Let's get down slow this this octopus is a bit quicker but, oh no oh, for, <sighs> oh and now i've got an ocean full of nasties and because of that uh, it slows down considerably and i bet i'm going the wrong way now oh yep yeah. this is it this is school level three, like he did. Uh, I'm not going to play this again. I'm sick of it. Uh, absolutely sick of it. Right, straight line. Just keep going. 
better have gone the wrong way. Many times I've hit the side wall. I've come to the edge of the mountain and I've gone the wrong way. Oh, yeah, I couldn't even see that coming. That's it. I'm done with this, mate. I'm, I'm, that's it. I, I don't agree on that stip, but hey ho, it was your, uh, it was your call. So um, yeah, there we go. You're back to one in front. 24-23. I am utterly sick of playing this game. I'm fed up with getting right down to the bottom of the ocean and just unfairly getting hit or trying to collect the oxygen and just gently trying to move away and I can't because no matter what if my legs either hit the side or my head I'm just fed up with it so you know, I'm, I'm done with it enough so moving swiftly along we are going to play what is my favorite homebrew, homebrew game of all time at this moment still is but until another one comes along um, we are going to play a game that I think you'll have a lot of fun with. And there's no time like the present. So let's get on with it. This is your challenge for episode 107. Let's see what you've got. Dundarak on the ZX Spectrum, my favorite homebrew game of all time so far. Released by Death Squad. Um, just love this game. It's so simple, very addictive, and very cleverly programmed. Beautiful colour in it. Great gameplay. And uh, yeah, I just um, I really really enjoy this game. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to try and get as far as we can. And um, you've basically got to match my level. There's two steps. You've got to beat or match my level. The second step I will reveal after the game is finished. So we're, we crack on with it. Um, yeah, I'm going to think about what the second step is. So the idea of this game, yep, yeah, you've got to collect the fruit in certain order so you can get your bug bigger to the point where he can actually physically move the dung, which is that, you see? What I'm moving around now, you just simply move it by going over them and you have to create a turd burger basically put shit in the sandwich now I've got the version where I've um, can use QAOP because the original version Dung Dirac is cursor keys and I'm no good at them so luckily this version was released a bit later the only difference is hang on I love this sound Let's get a few points why not uh, um, this is a bit I like <laughs> yeah um, yeah, the only difference is where it says sand in the middle of the screen and at the bottom, which, the original actually says turd and berg. That's the only thing that changed. I don't know why that was changed, but the keys are much more friendly in this version, for me anyway. So this is level two. Yeah, the, the second step is either going to be um, points. So in other words, you've got to match my level, at least. If you match it, you've got to beat the points. Or get to my level quicker than me so i'm not sure what i'm going to go with yet so we're, we'll just carry on playing and see uh how i feel about it Come on. And there. also you do not uh, gain extra lives in this game you get three lives that's your lot it's 20 levels altogether so first of all yeah you've got to get the cherries before you can get the uh, the plums before you can get the mushrooms oh, here over there and get the mushrooms and as soon as you get the fifth mushroom you're big enough to move the, um, the hippo shit once you get to level 20 you have to face the hippo and uh, get rid of his last his end end his days of his free plopping all over the place there we go and again and around there and there and that's the first piece in first I don't know seven or eight screens are pretty easy and once you get to about level 10 I think it is then you get these deadly dung beetles which will kill you the moment you touch them 
Come on, you. Out of the way. That's it. Perfect. Yeah! Great little game. And the prequel of this is to um, Thunder Turds. And the sequel to this is R Swipe. As in R Type, but R Swipe. And in that game, you've got to move the toilet rolls around and load the rocket up and eventually blast away the scumbag Jimmy Savile. It's on my channel if you want to see that long play with cheats because it's too hard to play complete without cheats. It's a rock hard game. But yeah, nothing more satisfying than sending a rocket into Jimmy Savile. And I will say one thing about our level. If you look, if you look, if you check that long play of mine on level 19, which is the last, the penultimate level, you'll see Jim will fix it badges. If you know his program, he used to give you a Jim will fix it badge if you appeared on his program. Um, but these are called... <laughs> These are called Jim will rape it. So um, <laughs> this is obviously post what was found out about him with the kiddie thing. There we go. Good. Fall down. See, it's pretty basic to begin with. Cherries. Cherries. Uh, where's the plum? There you go. Plum. There's another one over there. Get you. And then we get the mushrooms. Uh, mushroom, some mushroom, where's the other mushroom? There you are, and now we can move the ploppy poo. Um, obviously, this would be brown, but the spectrum doesn't have brown in its basic colours. The uh, um, spectrum next does, and um, the. What's it called? The um, Vega Plus, or whatever it's called. ULA Plus, sorry. Um, that has brown. Come on, that's it. One more piece. Grab you, get you out of the way. What bizarre little aliens, aren't they? Or bugs, whatever they are. Yeah! Quarter of the way through the game, but it gets a lot harder. Okay. Three plums there, that's easy. Mushrooms. Mushrooms. Smoky mushrooms, and there we go. Yeah, in, the, in a sequel to this, uh, you actually, um, let's get some points, you actually have to flush the, the shit down the toilet. <laughs> Just check it out, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that as an 8-bit challenge because it's too hard, I can't, I'm not very good at it. But I'm pretty dab and at this, without cheats. Oh. Oh, oh. It's very skitty. You can use joystick, but I prefer the um, keys. Right, level seven. Yeah, a lot more obstacles now, so it gets a little bit tighter. So you've got to watch your energy bar. Ah. Which is in the top left. And you only get three lives, no more. Pretty basic. Eventually, you get lavatories and, as I said, killer dung beetles. It gets very bizarre later on. If it isn't already, no. Oh, come on, stop wasting time. Yeah, what am I going to do? Am I going to put this down to score? Following level, or am I going to do a time run? I don't know. That's an energy pill. That's got my energy back up. doing no that's, that's it okay let's get around here yeah, good okay that's one bit right, let's get you down you two no yeah, that's not what i wanted to do bugger right uh okay Hurry up. Oh, oh no, that's right. Oh, oh, what am I doing? Oh, I've trapped him now. Oh, for Christ's sake. Get out of the way, you stupid bloody... Oh, it's all gone wrong. 
Go away. Um, that's it now. No. No. Um, what am I doing? That's it. Oh dear. Got a bit muffled there. Level 8. Yeah, it's a very skitty game. Very fast. Very zoom, zoom, zoom. Right. Uh, mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Okay. Turn everything into fruit. There we go, get some points, why not? You can either do that or use it as a timeout to get the aliens, bugs, or whatever you call I call them bugs, they're not really aliens, are they? They're bugs. Um, but you two have trapped yourself, so you can. St oh, okay. I suppose I could have done that. Sometimes you can. it's good to have two bugs trapped, they stay out of your way. And again, that's it. And again. No, nope. up. Oh. That's it. Good. Release you. So I need that. Again, quick. There we go. Nice. Put the energy up again with that pill. That's it. Level done. Excellent. Eight down, 12 to go. Once I get to level 10, I, I'm sure it's pretty. I'm sure it's level 10, you start seeing lavatory bowls go across the screen. And I think the killer dung beetle comes out, is one of them to begin with, and a few levels later you'll get two of them. And you can't touch them things, it's immediate death. Think. Right. Get out of the way. Round here again. Okay. Good. Good. Two down, three to go. No, two down, one to go. What am I talking about? Oh no. Oh, hurry up. Out of my way. Oh, you annoying git. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, I've messed this up. What am I doing? That'll do. Sod it. That'll do. Yeah. Right. Level 10. There's a lavatory bowl up. Centre screen. And there's a dung beetle. See him? In the, he's in the top, sort of top right. He's just still by that mushroom where the lavatory bowl is just going past him now. Once you collect all of the fruit, he'll start to move. And you can't... He's harmless now. He's asleep, basically. He's just watching. But once you collect all the fruit, he'll start to move and you can't let him touch you. See any tip I'll give you? There's two bugs that have locked themselves up at the top of the screen. Well, that's fine. That does block out one of my escape routes. But there he is. He's on the move now. Deadly. Can't let him get anywhere near you. Ah. That's it. Good. Ooh, come on, you've got to lure him away. See, one of my escape routes, the top escape route's gone. Right, I don't want to get any more near him. Ooh! Ooh! Oh, bugger, come on over here. Go away, you stupid... Bloody lavvy. Nope. Bugger. Um, come on. That's it. Oh, that was sneaky. Come on over here. Oh, yes, that was good. Yes, yes, that was good. Needed that. No, no, no. Oh, come on. Stop it. Come on. 
Oh, fidgety. There we go. Cool. Ten down. Ten to go. Halfway through the game. And now it gets a lot harder. Because there's more obstacles. There's more weird buggy things in a bog. And in a few levels time there's going to be two of those deadly dung beetles after me. And then, to get that far, we've got the hippo screen. The one that's been causing all the shitty problems. Come on. That's it. Where's the other one? Oh, there it is. Gotcha. Right. Uh, now he's released again. Uh, and again, come on down. And again, get out of my way. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh no! I was closing that bloody toilet bowl is blocked the other piece of poo. So I've got to try and sort that out. Oh, this beetle, he's after me, isn't he? He's slow, but he gets you quickly. to lure him away again because if I move that third piece of poo he's going to kill me so I need to get him away look at this lot they're just blocking themselves up aren't they right okay yep that's it excellent cool good all lives intact so far I have got my stopwatch, by the way. That's ticking away, just in case I decide to go down the uh, speed run route. In case I, uh, or, you know, it might be a uh, score route. I don't know. It's definitely going to be level first. So it's either going to be level, and then score, or level, and then time. It's going to be one of them two. I haven't decided yet. Or will be revealed. Nasty bug. Oh, that's it. It's very skitty. Sometimes it does one too many moves. Oh, than you really want to do. Oh, God, look at it. It's definitely getting more manic now. is stuck there. Oh, I'm going to have to release it, aren't I? Nowhere else I could do it. This should be... Oh, there's a blue and white pill. That'll do. Yes, there we go. Get the points. Yeah! Level 13. Right, where's the cherries? And there's one at the top there. Yeah, he's harmless to begin with, but uh, yeah, you wake him up the moment you've eaten everything you need to. Um, okay, get that mushroom, get out of my way. Mushroom, thank you. And where's the other bit? Where's the other one? Oh, he's over there. Get out of my way. Cool, right. Off we go again. No, it's not what I wanted to do. Get out of my way. Bloody things. Oof. Right. Mm. 
Quick he gets to you. Right. Let's get him away again. Come on. Oh, you little git. I was just about to get in there. You bugger. <laughs> Lavatory seat. Crazy. Yes, yes. Cool. Oh, yeah. Anyone wants to know? That is a Beastie Boy sample. Um, yeah, okay. I've got to think where I want to go first. Um, cherry, cherry. Cherry. It's hard to see him. There's one over there. Right. Um, where are we? Mushrooms. Another one over there. Oh, come on. Oh. Um, where are you? No, no, that one. Nah, there's the other one. So, one more. Bottom left. Right, here we go. down one piece to go and it's right over there right where that dung beetle is mm. a choice i've got to get him out come on that's it follow daddy come on oh get moving get moving Move, move. And again, good. Right, the dung beetle will stay there, that's good. Should have this level done, as long as I don't trap anything. Yeah, excellent. That was such a bad level. Did that quite quickly. Level 15, and now you can see there's two of these beetles. One on the left, one on the right. What am I doing? I need... First, not bloody plums. Now I can get them. One up there. Okay, where's the other one? Oh, down there. That's you. Uh, mushrooms. Thank you. Right, we we'll get out of here. Right, they're both on the march now. It's very hard. Oh. Good. Got to keep them away. Okay. Ooh. Come on, we've got a snow. Come on, you over here. Right, that's two bits. One piece of poo to do. Come on, they're both over here. I need to bring them down. Ugh, bloody hell. 
Come on. Follow the Piper. Detective Fate here. <laughs> I could do one of those blue and white pills. Oh, I just need to go around here. I've got it. Yeah. Whoa. Oh, three quarters away through the game. And now look at this. This is getting a lot harder now. And I've still have got all my lives. Yeah, or should I do a one life step? How about that? Could do, couldn't I? Got to get to level 16 without losing a life. do that that's a possibility match my level with one life which I only tend to do if there's point harvesting games that not gonna risk that yeah because when you die and you restart the level which is what happens when you die you um, have the chance of picking up more pills again and banging up your score. So, um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Manic Miner, well, I mean, Dynamite Daniel wouldn't because, oh, gee, that was close. What was I thinking? Dynamite Dan, um, yeah, once you die, you carry on from where you are. You can't recollect items. Manic Miner, you can, so that has to be a one life step. Nebulous, again, is a one life step because you, the moment you restart a level, you can gain a load of points. And it's, oh, that is ridiculously close. I'm really asking for trouble here. Come on. I mean, would you class this as a platform game? Oh, more of a puzzle game isn't it really because you're trying to work out where to put the pieces how to get them there how to avoid all the other baddie insects and what have you yeah look at that level 17 no lives lost tricky level because you've got these two nasty bits of scenery at the bottom center these like roaring dragons and you've got to get in that little gap between and put the turd in there, it's very difficult. One of the hardest levels of the game. Right, um, that's what I want, thank you. Right, yep, get my way quick. No, that's it, I'll go that way. Blimey. Right, it's Lou, you're in over here. Come on, you two. Oh, cool. I can lock myself in there. See, look at these little sods. They just bottled themselves in, haven't they? Oh, this is going to be awkward. Oh, I hate this level. To release them, get them out. Mm. 
And again, come on, follow me. God, this is such an awkward level. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, what should I do? This could be a... Oh, that's perfect. Yes, right, get you. No, I should really be getting on with the poo. I shouldn't be mucking about. I've got to go down. I've got to get that up first. That's it. Right, now I need... Oh, I am tempting <laughs> fate. One more piece of plop to get in there. Come on, follow me, over here. That's it, quick. No, that's not it. What am I thinking? Oh, oh my energy's getting low. I need a pill. I need a pill. Give me a pill, come on. Well, there really is it. There's a pill. Is that the one I need? What am I doing? I'm messing this up. Completely messing this up now. What am I doing? My energy is getting low as well. Oh, they're going to trap me if I don't get out. Shit. Shit. Quick. Get out. Get that. I don't know what that was, actually. It didn't give me any. Just points. I don't need that. That's what I need. That'll get my energy back. Yes. Ooh, that was close. Almost going to lose a life there. Oh, damn it. This level. It's tricky. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I don't like lose, using one life steps. But some games you have to, because when you die, you can redo all the points. You know. Yes, yes. Oh, thank God. Yeah. That was a horrible level. Right. Cherries, cherries, cherries. One, two, three. Where's the fourth one? Four. Right. Now, now the plums. One up there. And now the mushrooms. Get higher on mushrooms. Cool. All right. There we go. Nope. Oh, come on. Oh. Right, um, doesn't seem so busy this screen because there's more space to move around but um, than the previous screen. But it's still tricky, you've got to think quickly. That's it. Now, quick. Right, they're in position. We're in the same line. I just need to get them from right to left, or left to right, whatever way you're looking at it. Come on, you. Let's get these nasty beetles out of the way. Well, they've blocked each other up there. Excellent, excellent. One more bit. Yeah! 19! Penultimate, epi um, penultimate uh, level. 
So yeah, should I do that? You've got to get to level 19 without losing a life. Seems a bit harsh, doesn't it? But, you know, I don't want to be screwed again on another game. Points, you know, points is like, well, as you see, some certain levels I've got the, I've got the certain tablet that's given me, that's changed all the bugs to fruit and I haven't bothered collecting it. So I've missed out on points there. So it's possibility I might meet the middle ground and go, right, level and then time. But we'll see. I haven't decided yet. Could I be cruel? Could I say, yeah, one life step. I mean, I could have done that in Arkanoid 2. I got to level 11, I think, before losing a life. I could have said, right, one level. But yeah, I don't, I don't want to do them too many times, but there are some games you have to. Right, got to get up there. Got to get that piece round. Get out of my way. Ugh. So we face the hippo on the next screen if I get that far. This is getting difficult now. Come on, these things are slow moving, but they get to you pretty quickly. Right, okay. Again, I've got to suck them away. Come on, bugs, come and get me, if you dare. Come and get me. That's it. Oh! Oh, God! I should have lost a life there. It's only because I collected that tablet. Oh, you little sh shod. <laughs> Just about to do it, and he goes and bloody blocks himself in. Oh, for Christ's sake. He's gone and locked himself in there. Oh, I was that close getting to level 20. That goes close to getting to the boss level. If you call it a boss. Ah, I grab that tablet. That will send everything to fruit. Thank you. Come on. Um, uh... Oh my god, don't tell me. Oh, I messed this up. Have I messed this up? No, quick. Oh, no, you. Oh. Here we go. Last screen, and there's the hippo. And the trouble is with him, he doesn't do anything, but he takes up a lot of the screen. So you don't have much room to move around. And those three at the top, the good thing is they've trapped each other. So that's three bug bugs or bogs in that case. I don't have to worry about, but at the same time, they have cut off one of my exits roots and there's two annoying mushrooms in the way of the sandwich of the turd burger and you can't move them right you know what i think i'm going to go for time i think so you've got to get to level 20 and then get to it quicker than i did i think i don't think we go for one life step because i said i could have done that and i can only two it's going to be one life step all the way and yeah that's going to be yeah not fair, that's not, not too hard. But things like Manic Miner all will have a one life stick. Um, score, yeah, well, because I haven't collected all the fruit every time I've changed the bugs to fruit. So I've missed some opportunities there. So I'm likely going to go down the middle ground of match my level and time. And my timer is still ticking away here. As soon as I've put the final piece of the poo in the bun, that's when the timer stops. Oh, damn. I could do with that getting that tablet, but that blue thing's bloody... And I can't get over the top of the hippo because those, those bugs are in the way. They've trapped each other. So if I get that, there we go. Oh, oh, I, oh, I wasn't looking at my energy. Damn it. All right, that's my first life. So, um, yeah, you know what? This is it.
yeah, it's a one life. It's a one. It's a one life step at the moment. So, if I can complete this, then it's down to lives because um, you can't gain any lives. Ooh. There's no extra lives, so that's good in a way. Score is ridiculous because you can just point harvest quite easily. Oh, so yes, your first step is get to the last level with one life. That's the first part. That's the second part and third part, if there is any, I don't know yet. We're still playing this, but yeah, that's your first goal. Get to my level. Oh, yep. Uh, um, let's grab that. A bit of energy. Good. They've uh, blocked themselves at the top. Yeah, that's good. Three less enemies to uh, worry about. The only trouble is it. Um, it uh, blocks off one of my exits. Oh, come on, you little buggers. Look at these damn things. They're done to kill me. Come on, homing in on me. Oh, oh, get out of the way. No. Oh, blimey. Oh, get out of me way. For sake. So, I mean, it's really tedious. Uh, not tedious. It's awkward because the hippo takes about a third of the bloody screen. He doesn't do anything. He's just in the play. Uh, mind you, if you make connection with him, your energy goes down. Come on. Um, all right. Oh, what am I thinking? Yeah, that's that's fruit. Come on, uh, come on, and again, and again. Oh God, it doesn't give you long, does it? Oh no! Oh, oh! Come on, let's get you moving. Yeah. So yeah, we'll see what the oh. See what the steps are at the end, but it's definitely. Oh, I'm almost done in one point piece, and I should have put that the other way around. I oh, blocked him in, bloody hell. Uh, oh dear, let's go round here above the hippo, shall I? Come on, you. Nope, let's go around here. I can't do anything about that, can I? Uh, oh, that's it. Oh no! That's checkmate! I can't get out of that! No, I can't, I can't, I can't get out of it! No, I'm stuck! Oh, you're joking! And all my exits are... I can't get out of it, it's checkmate! Oh, you're joking! I can't even get a pill... to, um... to turn them into fruit, because the bloody toilet is hanging around on it. The pill won't appear. It's impossible. I can't, I, I can't get out of it. It literally is checkmate. Oh. What a wasted effort. That's another life lost. I'm going to have to commit suicide, aren't I? I can't, I'm just trying to think, because I don't want to waste a life if there is a way. But there isn't. I'm absolutely stuck. Yeah, I can't get out that way. Because the little mushroom's in the way and the blue thing's in the way. And I can't go down because that guy's in the way, the purple guy. I can't get out of it. I'm completely stuck. Yeah, there's there's no way out of it, is it? I mean, is there anything obvious that I'm overlooking? I don't think so. I'm going to have to... Oh, I can't. Can't do it. Look, I'm stuck. Yeah, oh, I'm so annoyed about that. Here we go. Final final life. So if I die here and you complete it, then you've won a challenge. But you must get to this level with your first life. And you should do it, in fairness. I mean, the first ten levels are a breeze. The next five are a little bit more difficult, but not a problem. It's the last four. 16, 17, 18, and 19. They're the tricky bugs. Of course, this one is 20. This is my last chance saloon. Oh, let's get them round. Get... Oh, bloody hell. Sometimes they can nib you. And, I mean, so, uh, sometimes it's not... I can't quite work out how they get you. I know if you connect with them, they do. But so many times I've done that, 
and I've got away with it. Again, they blocked each other at the top there, that's fine, whatever. Um, yeah, the toilet seat is lethal because um, it will just stick where it lands. It will not move and everything's all gridlocked. Come on, let's move these around. Come on, that's it. And again, I'm not going to get that pill just yet. I want to get out. See that blue thing at the bottom? He's the problem. He's slow and he doesn't get out of the way. And that's not what I wanted to do. And the blue thing's on the way again. Let's grab that. Get rid of energy. Release them. But I don't want them sticking because I'm going to need... I'm definitely going to probably need a... A blue and white pill. So I can turn them to fruit. That's it. Come on, let's just move them closer. Good. As long as there's a pill there. See, it. see the blue thing's stuck again. He's a little shit, isn't he? I've got to go right round. Come on. No, don't block each other. See, those things move, but the toilet seat won't if it gets stuck there. Come on, you. Here's the blue thing again, and I can't... I, the blue thing's going to get stuck again, isn't it? You friggin' annoying thing. Let's cut through. Come on. My last chance to complete this game. We've got no extra lives. We well, don't get extra lives in this game, as I pointed out earlier. Let's go through this side. Come on, where's that pill? Give me that pill. The blue and white pill. That's what I need. There he is. Come on. Oh, I've got to get to it. Come on. Go. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yes. Finally. Oh. I can't quite read that, you filthy beast. Let's let's pause it there. Um, <laughs> oh, wow. Well, okay. So, right. You've got to complete the game. But if you complete the game with your first and or second life, you've beaten me. If you complete the game with your third and final life, like I did, then it's a draw. It's a draw. They were not going with score because the score's ridiculous. So much point harvesting can go on, so we're going to go on with score. So the first, your first tip is get to the last level with your first life, and then it's up to you. If you complete it with your first or second life, you've won the game. If you complete it with your third life like I did, it's a draw. All right? So there's your challenge. It's a fantastic game. I love it. It's my favourite homebrew game of all time, still to this day. There's not been another game like it, as far as I'm concerned, to even come close to it. Uh, there is a sequel, which was called R Swipe. It's all to do with um, uh, oh, that. Uh, yeah, we won't go into it too more details. But it's to do with Jimmy Savile and, and and being able to literally blast him into oblivion. But it's a it's a seriously hard game. No, I'm not going to do that on an eight bit challenge. But there we go, mate. Yep, that's it. So enjoy. Once again, get to the last level with your first life that's step one and the second step is if you complete the game with your first or second life you have won the challenge if you complete it with your third life your third and final life as i did it's a draw score's got nothing to do with it all right and no speed run or anything like that i know i'm in an hour in it but that's that's what i'm going to do now so uh yes there you go let's see what you can make of that and uh just a shout out to all the viewers that have tuned in for this edition of 8-Bit Challenge. Thank you very much for tuning in. So be sure to go to my opponent's channel and subscribe if you can. So that you'll be notified of the uh, the next episode. And then we'll see what he's got for me installed, won't we? Alright, there we go. Till next time. Zeus out.